And we're very, very lucky today to have Carrie Powers with us. This is Carrie. Say hi to Carrie. Hi. Nice to be here. I suspect you guys all know who she is. If, if not, let me just briefly give you the bio. Uh, we'll go backwards. Her last, last year, her self-titled album, I, I can't even list all of the top ten lists that it landed on. It's a beautiful record. Uh, she took a few years off for the most noble reasons to raise her son, uh, but before that, her albums uh, like Faith in the Shadows, the recordings uh, have been on t TV shows like Rescue Me. Um, she's toured internationally with the likes of Fred Eaglesmith. And when I first heard her, I felt a kinship because I automatically knew Carrie was from my neck of the woods in the South because that's how the heart and the soul comes out of her music. As it turns out, she's a Red Sox fan from Mass. <laughs> but that's okay, too. You got the soul. Please welcome Carrie Powers. Thank you very much. Burn me out and break me down 
Thank you very much. As uh, Rick mentioned, I'm from a little town called East Taunton, Massachusetts. And it was quite a rural place growing up. Lots of trains going by at night. I first wrote this song in 1995, and uh, it just never felt finished. It didn't feel like the right song, so I recently did a rewrite. It's on the brand new album, and um, it's called Train in the Night. Thank you very much. Do you have any country music fans out there? I haven't played this song in quite some time and uh, just revisited it with an old friend of mine recently. It's called Nobody Minds My Drinking. Our door, bum 
This is a newer song, it's called Moon and Stars. Thank you guys all so much for coming out and listening. At least it's not too hot, right? What a perfect spot. the light. 
lights blew out and the moon and stars were enough. Oh, I said, baby, oh, baby, so sad we lost it. We'll find it. Finally crawled out through the cracks from dying smoke and scattered ash. Even the cuckoo bird, he was just swinging from the claw. stars weren't enough Oh, I said, baby hey, Oh, baby, so sad we lost it I said, baby Someday I hope we find it Because I would say that's, that was pretty damn magnificent. <laughs> Thanks very much. This is Terry Powers, our guest on the day's live lunch break. And uh, Sup Supreme Hot Dogs put the lunch back in lunch break. So I hope you're enjoying their savories and the myriad combinations thereof. Carrie, are you, are you having fun? I am. She's Thanks. wonderful. We're going to talk a minute because I find your work and your approach to it fascinating. Um, Thank you. I think by definition, if someone is an Americana or a roots artist, what it's come to mean is that they have an appreciation for and a knowledge of uh, country, blues, gospel, mm -hmm. uh, even some jazz. I don't know that that always translates in the artist. They might have a, a country song here or a, a jazz, but you have all these strands of DNA of all these things and they intermingle in your song. Mm -hmm. so the first thing I would ask is, how broad-based was your musical influences when you grew up? I'd say it was pretty broad-based, I mean, in the sense that my my father was a huge country music fan, you know, I'm talking older country, Patsy Cline, Merle Haggard, Tammy Wynette, uh, I mean, I was singing Apartment Number no. 9 when I was 13 years old, you know, at various jamborees and the like, and uh, and my mom was more, she's a visual artist, and she sort of had a more eclectic mix, a melding pot of different styles, ranging from, you know, real folk music, Joan Baez, she loved Bob Dylan, um, Bonnie Raitt, I mean, Creedence Clearwater Revival, they were a huge influence on me growing up. So it's sort of just a little bits and pieces of everything, you know? I think it's, I don't know that you can actually sit down to teach yourself this, but when I'm listening to your songs and watching you play, you might be 
doing a fairly standard country structure, but your finger picking is like the Delta Blues, and then you'll throw uh, a diminished jazz chord in, and then the break has a almost a minor chord pop thing. Is that is it just natural? Is that how it works? Well, for me, it, it is. I'm I'm afraid I don't know how to read music, so I've depended on my ears and my my heart, you know, my soul, pretty much, for everything that I do, you know. So I just I go with the feel. If it feels soulful and it feels right, I just kind of go from there. You know, I don't really know half the time <laughs> what the heck I'm playing. So, um, this is a theory of mine, and feel free to shoot it down or whatever. But I think once uh, a musician gets an original songwriter, gets out of the late teens, early 20s thing. Um, mm -hmm. The older we get, the more we experience, there sort of creeps in a little bit of uh, melancholy, maybe it's time going by or whatever, in, in the songwriting process and even in the narrative. Is there a sort of beauty to, to sorrow, to sadness? It's, it's not like a completely defeating thing, but I hear it some in your music, maybe I'm completely imagining it, but but I think some artists go, you know, we're getting older. There's loss, mm -hmm. but it's not all it's not all bad. There's memory and there's a, a sort of beauty. Is that no, is that accurate? I mean, I think you know, there's hope in in getting down to a dark place, you know. And I've always been drawn to more of a more melancholy. I think just from the time I was a little girl, I think it's part of my nature as well. But I think there is a lot of beauty. I think it, you know you have to hit a real dark place before you can start moving up. You know, start ascending into that real positive light, so to speak. So yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of beauty in it, and I think that there's nothing that all of us on a universal level can't relate to. You know, when it comes to that that stuff. So we've all been there, I think. So we've all. And it's funny because you, the older that you get, you know, I find if you don't have baggage. Something's not right. Someone's not telling the truth somewhere along the line, you know. We're, of course, uh, privileged to be talking to and listening to Carrie Powers on Live Lunch Break. And uh, you did have an album come out last year. Uh, I believe you recorded it at Dirt Floor here in Connecticut. Well, first of all, in case you don't know, Carrie is now a resident of Connecticut. You have been for years. But, I have. But she's a, she's a husky now, right? <laughs> is that fair to say? I am, yes. So, so we now can adopt her. She's a hometown girl, so to speak. Um, as I understand it, when you went into Dirt Floor, I don't know that you were actually thinking of making an entire album. You were Not just going to do a couple of tunes. Yeah, I mean, I was living way out in the boonies of Coventry, Connecticut, and this old farmhouse, you know, was pretty much falling apart. And I was working as a personal trainer, which I've done, you know, for several years, and I, I didn't like it. So I'd come home every night, and my solace was either to paint or to write songs, you know, and... I have so many wonderful people that kept encouraging me, you know, you, you got to get in and record those songs. And, and Eric was just the perfect person, you know, to, to, in terms of that connection that we had immediately. And in Dirt Floor, the whole gang, they quickly became family, you know. So it was just the right choice. We went in, it was very comfortable, and laid the tracks down. And uh, the whole experience was very magical for me. So... <laughs> I believe we determined last week that the train whistles are in the key of C. Is that right? Is that I, right? I, think, but I don't know. Anyway, so try to, the, the next set, make sure they're all on key, that harmonically <laughs> you can get yeah. that C. <laughs> uh, so anyway, the self-titled album, you can find uh, information. Where can people get it? You got carrypowers.com, right? Carrypowers.com, and that's K-E-R-R-I, Powers. And uh, the album is available pretty much everywhere online. We have T-shirts as well and various items for sale. And they're good-looking T-shirts, too. Thank you. They're not like this black heavy metal thing. Yeah. No, well, that's so. okay, too, right, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys consider it a lot of fun to hear some more Carrie Powers? All right. Here's some more. You guys are a rowdy bunch, I'll tell you. I'm going to package you up and take you with me. I love how the restroom doors say goddesses and gods. That's a first for me, man. I wouldn't care which one I walked into if I had to go. Well, I've always had a fascination with uh, Peeping Tom. From the time I was a little girl, you know, it's, it's funny when you're younger, you think the idea of a Peeping Tom is 
really creepy, you know? And you get to be my age and you think, I'll take what I can get. Not a bad idea. So I did a little research on the, uh, the origin of Peeping Tom, and it's quite an interesting story. Come to find out Lady Godiva had this crazy love affair with Peeping Tom. So I wrote this song, and of course I'm Lady Godiva in the song. I couldn't resist. You only live once, right? Could I just get a tad more guitar on the monitors, please? Thank you guys so much for listening. And uh, how about a big hand for Rich Martin, the great sound here today. Thank you.
come home late and you come home early Come home big when you're feeling small Come home straight and you come home girly Sometimes you don't come home at all What in the world's come over you? What in heaven's name have you done? You broke in the speed of the sound of loneliness You're out there running just to be your With a fever, I got a worrying, jealous mind. How can a love that last forever get left so far behind? What in the world's come over you? What in heaven's name have you done? You've broken the speed of the sound of loneliness. You're out there running just to be on the run. Is it mighty mean and a dreadful sorrow Cross the evil line today How can you ask about tomorrow When we ain't got one word to say What in the world's come over you What in heaven's name have you done? Broken the speed of the sound of loneliness You're out there running just to be on the road You're out there running just to be on the I'm going to play a few more songs for you. And uh, this one's called Tallulah Send a Car for Me. I was sitting around one day with a good friend of mine and a producer, uh, and we were talking about who we might choose if we had a choice of guardian angel. And right away I said Tallulah Bankhead. Anyway, I had this melody going for a long time, and didn't have much to put with it until this song came through. in church Can't wear my alligator boots in church Preachers say all they ever do is drag in dirt Well I think I got some dirt Lord on this clean white shirt yeah. Well I roll up all my chains Lord Suitcase pawn shop rain 
wait until Tallulah sends a car for me. I love lighting firecrackers after dark. I love lighting firecrackers after dark. Sun comes sneaking up behind me in the parking lot. Lord, I better kill the sparks so I don't get caught. Well, I roll up all my changes, suitcase, pawn shop ring. I'm waiting till Tallulah sends a car for me. God's golden chariot. Good Lord's Larry at wants me But I'm waiting till Tallulah sends a car for me Oh yes Hallelujah Tallulah send your car for me Don't send a dozen roses or a candy gram. Don't send a dozen roses or a candy gram. I'll go out picking daisies with my own two hands and do the best I can, Lord. I don't want your candy gram. Well, I roll up all my change, suitcase, pawn shop ring. I'm waiting till Tallulah send a car for me. Hallelujah, Tallulah send your car for me. I'm waiting till Tallulah sends a car for me. Thank you all so much. Unfortunately, I do not have CDs with me today, um, but they are available everywhere online. Feel free to visit me at uh, carriepowers.com as well as Facebook. There's a fan page there as well. I'm not real crazy about the self-promotion thing, but man, I gotta do it. little song called Old Shirt. Robin sang my way into the house 
most nights I don't feel alone and I've learned to do without. Yeah, I fixed the crack above the mantle and the ceiling still needs paint. Slowly working on the things I know that I can change. Okay. guys so much. It's been a pleasure. The very wonderful Carrie Powers. Thank you so much. What a wonderful treat. What if you wanted to do one more? Would like to, so to hear one more? Thank you guys again so much. You know, I've never been to this little town other than to take the ferry out to Block Island. And I gotta say, you got a nice town here. Yeah. Very sweet. I'd certainly like to come back. I first heard this song on the Graham Parsons Anthology album. It was written by Barry Gibb. The story has it that he wrote it originally for his manager who in turn wanted it to be a song for Otis Redding. Um, all I know is that the first time I heard it, it made me cry, and I knew I had to cover it. It's called To Love Somebody. There's a light Certain kind of light Never shown on me I want my life to be lived There's a way that everybody say to do it 
each and every little thing. Does it break if I ain't got you? You don't know what it's like. Baby, you don't know what it's like. Love somebody, love somebody the way I love you. In my brain, I see your face again. Like I am blind, so very blind. You don't know what it's like, baby. You don't know what it's like to love somebody. Love somebody the way I love you. You, you don't know what it's like. Maybe you don't know what it's like. Love somebody. Love somebody. What a privilege, Carrie Powers. Thank you, Carrie, so much. Thank you guys for being part of Live Lunch Break. We do it every Thursday at noon right here in the Hygienic Art Park. Next week is Old Dog, New Trick. Quite a fine Americana band as well. I hope you uh, got your sustenance from uh, Desiree and Supreme Hot Dogs. In hot dogs is wisdom. Don't ever forget that. Thank you to Carlos and Shelly for uh, helping us out with the streaming, to Rich and Max for getting it right in the house, and most of all, to Carrie Powers. What Thank a wonderful you. treat. Thank you. See you guys next week. Be safe. <laughs>